Let's get right to Fox News. Camille and Mary, she's live with an update. Camille. Yeah, Ruben, Taryn, this is exactly the break in the case that police were hoping for, and they are crediting social media. Take a look. Some of the videos he's produced himself, some of the videos he's traded. Videos of himself allegedly sexually assaulting minors. Are you Peter Padgett? Are you Peter? Now another victim has come forward. We were contacted by this agency yesterday. That law enforcement agency in Washington state. The 15 year old victim told her parents what happened to her after she saw this video. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson posted on Facebook. Padgett being extradited to Michigan from his home state of Florida after meeting up with a Genesee County teenager. On the pretense of trading cryptocurrency, but instead, investigators say he took the girl to a hotel room, sexually assaulted her, and recorded the whole thing. The video of him being taken into custody on March 24th shared thousands of times on social media, and that victim from Washington State coming forward after seeing it. Not the first time that it's happened, which is the reason why I use the power of social media and our media friends to get names and faces out there because I want victims to be given the courage that their predator has been uh, arrested and is in custody. And authorities say there is at least one more victim. Police say she is in Oregon. They are working to figure out who she is. This is a criminal enterprise with one person behind it. And uh, as we unroll and unravel, we see how much damage he's done. And it may be only a matter of time before Peter Padgett, just 22 years old, is charged with more sex crimes. We got a forensic download on his, on his phone. And uh, I mean, it's just loaded with images and other videos that are gonna probably lead to more charges. It may lead to federal charges. And there could be more victims right here in Michigan. Peter Padgett was in Michigan, wheels up and wheels down in Detroit, February 20th through the 22nd, 48 hours here when he got that rental car and drove up to Genesee County. So really, police want to hear from you if they if there are any other victims at all, if you know anything about this suspect, you're urged to call police. Reporting live, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Yeah, seeing the suspect nabbed on videos, you just saw they're so important. You just don't know who's going to come forward. Hope, And now, of course, the hope is that the Oregon victim may feel safe enough to come forward, too. Exactly. And, you know, when you think about the power of social media and the reach, I mean, Washington State, 2,000 miles away, and here this teenager saw this. Somehow she saw this video and said, yes, that man did that to me, too. So fingers crossed that the girl in Oregon also sees it. Camila, Mary, back to you. Thank you for that live report. We'll be checking back with you a little bit later.